Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you are new and you wanna stick around for more videos in the future, then please feel free to hit subscribe. I'll leave my Instagram on screen as well if you wanna go and follow me over there. If you haven't seen my channel before, I do basically a mix of literally everything. I have a load of homeware stuff on here, a load of moving vlogs if you wanna go and check them out. We moved into this place in May, so I'm still kind of furnishing it and getting a load of homeware bits to make this place a little bit more homely. I definitely wanna do a lot more of these homeware hauls on my channel because I feel like I just buy homeware here and there and almost forget to show you guys. So I'm very sorry about that. But this one today is all specifically from H&M. I did a massive order. I've loved H&M home for ages. Like they are pretty much my go-to, but obviously there are so many others that I absolutely love like Nordic House, Charles Ted Interiors. I'll definitely do a collective version of this video and basically shop from like all of my favorite brands and show you what they have. But yeah, for today it's H&M home. I will leave everything that I show you guys linked down below in the description, but I have the biggest box to go through so I'm going to cut the rambly intro here and we can get straight on into it. So the first couple of things that I have to show you I actually got quite a while ago now so I'm hoping they're still in stock but I just realised that I'd never shown you these in a vlog or anything like that. So this is quite random it's basically a little kind of like makeup caddy I would say you can obviously use it for anything so I've got a couple of things in here I do need to organise it properly I don't really know exactly what I'm going to put in here most of my makeup actually stays in these drawers so it's nice and tucked away but if you do have like some of your favorite products that you wanted to display really nicely then this would be perfect so yeah like i say got that a little while ago but fingers crossed it will be in stock and then i got these guest towels quite a while ago as well and i know that these ones are in stock because i actually got some white ones in this order for our bathroom but i've been meaning to get some new kind of like fresh towels for our guests for a little while not that we have any guests at the moment but when we can have people over um i've just been meaning to get some more towels so i got a couple from the h&m website because they have so many different styles on there they have more like patterned ones they have like a floral design which is really cute but i wanted something quite simple so i came across these and it's almost like a waffle design I would say so I just got a couple of the white ones these are I think bath sheets so they are absolutely massive and they're really not expensive at all but these feel like really nice quality super soft and I just love the little designs that they have so obviously the waffle texture and then they have this little frayed hem to them so I got a couple of the white ones and then to go with them in the guest bathroom I got these which I think are their jacquard design jacquard design i'm not sure exactly how you pronounce the word but yeah i got some white versions of this for our bathroom which i'll show you in a sec when i get into that box but i got this color for the guest room because we're gonna obviously change that bathroom we have a lot of renovations to do in this house if you are new here you might not know that um we are kind of ripping out the bathrooms the kitchen and places like that so the whole of that bathroom is going to change and the color scheme that we are pretty much going for throughout the entire house i won't lie is very neutral kind of like whites and cool tones but they are the random couple of things that i bought a little while ago so moving on to everything that i picked up most recently this being the first thing so if you have been on the h&m website at any point in 2020 you would have seen the donut vases that they did I was very lucky and managed to get my hands on one of each because I feel like ever since like the end of last year they've just been like gold dust like they go in stock and they go out of stock so quickly and I know so many people haven't been able to get their hands on them and they are such nice vases like especially with dried flowers in they have recently come out with a lamp version of the donut vases so I got one of these which I do love but I didn't realize it doesn't come with a lampshade and I'm not really sure what lampshade to go for like I think I might just go for either a white one or a cream one just to keep it really simple because obviously it will still go with the color but I got this for our bedroom we have very recently put a couple of chests of drawers in there. We finally got around to buying them. And I thought this would look really nice on my side. And then we might get one for Brad's side as well. Um, or we might get a different lamp. So it is like a his and hers type thing. But I do quite like the idea of having them all quite uniform. So we might get the same one. But I thought I'd just try this out. I wanted to kind of see the size of it. Which it is a very decent size. I think this is the exact same size as the big vase. So if you have that to compare to... That is exactly what this is they've literally just put a light fixture on it so yeah i'm intrigued about this i just feel like i'm going to really struggle to get 
the right kind of lampshade for it. So if you have any suggestions, please do let me know. But I just love this trend, like all the ceramics and again, the very neutral tones. It's just so me. So yeah, had to grab this. I actually saw this on Sid's story and I literally bought it there and then. Like I just knew this was gonna go out of stock. So I'm hoping it is restocked for you guys if you do like the look of it. So then whilst we're getting the kind of bigger things out of the way, I might as well show you this lampshade. So in our lounge, we have two like massive Ikea lampshades because we have two light fixtures in pretty much all of the rooms in this house. We didn't put them in, they were just already here. So I like to kind of get matching lampshades for each pendant light. And I think at some point we might change, like I might change the lighting in this room, which is my office. I might change it to spotlights instead of having the two pendants, um, just because the lighting's a lot better with those. But yeah, in the lounge, I quite like that we have the two lampshades because the room's quite long like it's quite a wide room and i just think having like two statement lampshades looks quite nice and the ones from ikea are really really be priced they have like a gold interior to them and a black exterior and i really love them but i saw this on h&m and i just think it is beautiful i also quite like the fact that it doesn't have a different color on the inside because as much as i do like the ikea ones they do give off a very yellowy light because of the gold inside so I do love that these are just pleated all the way around and I mainly pick these up for the dining room which we are yet to build we don't have a dining room yet um that is on our extension plans which are quite far in the future at the moment unfortunately because of everything going on we just can't get people in right now which is totally fine but yeah when we can I'm hoping that these will look really nice in there they are pretty big like I don't know hopefully you can gauge an idea of how big this is I just thought it was really nice and again not too expensive at all especially for what it is i'm really impressed with the quality of this so then moving on to everything else that i got in this haul it is in the biggest box down here that i wish i could like pick up to show you guys but it's just huge so i'm going to leave it on the floor and unbox it oh <laughs> i just remember that i actually got some clothing items as well so i might do those at the end in case you're interested i literally just got like a couple of cozy jumpers and i think some little bralettes or something literally forgot about that but obviously on with the homeware stuff the first thing i'm seeing is a load of these cushion fillings like the inside of a cushion and i don't remember ordering cushion covers i mean i must have if i've got these but then we have this box which again no idea what's in here can't remember for the life of me oh my god i completely forgot about this so i have seen this so many times on the website and i've never picked it up just because I've not been too sure, but I saw someone grab it recently because I think it's meant to be a plant pot and I just would never use it as a plant pot. But I saw it on someone's Instagram story recently and they said exactly that. Like they said they were just gonna use it as a little statue for the sideboard or something. And I thought it would be so perfect for that. So I got this little guy's head, well, half a head. Um, I just thought it was so cute, but yeah, I probably wouldn't put a plant like sticking out the top of this. That's just not really my vibe, but I do love it as a ceramic like statue so i thought this would be nice in the lounge or something we're going to be building um some like shelving units and stuff in there some inbuilt units into the walls which i'm really looking forward to dressing so i thought things like this on there would look nice obviously you could use this for whatever you could use it as a little key pot or something just really quickly jumping in to tell you guys a little bit more about squarespace so i feel like you guys might find it useful if you have been looking at starting up a blog so they are basically a website building platform where everything is there for you it's like a step-by-step -step guide i find it super easy to use and like i say if you are looking at setting up a blog or an online shop or anything like that then definitely check it out i'll leave their website link down below and they have very kindly given me a discount code so you can use the code emily philpot at checkout and it will get you some money off your first domain purchase okay something else that i am kind of confused by there's loads of these which i can only assume are candles i want to say oh my god h&m we're doing loads of these kind of different design candles because I know they've been such a big thing like recently. Most of the time I get all of my candles like this little one here and the ones that you can see behind me are all from a brand called Saunder Candles. So she's literally like an independent girl. She lives in Scotland, I think, and she hand pours them all. So I love to support small businesses in that sense. And I usually always get my candles from places like that. But I saw these on there and I've actually not 
really seen any small businesses come out with candles like this yet so whilst i was shopping i just thought i'd throw these in the basket and then obviously if i come across them from somebody else i'm more than sure i'll grab some more anyway but these are some pillar candles but they're like a twisted kind of rib design i love them i actually way prefer them in person as well they just feel like really nice quality if that's possible with a candle i thought these would be nice on a dining table or like our table at the moment just in the kitchen i thought these would be cute to light for dinners or obviously having guests over and stuff they're just really handy to have but i love that they were a little bit different to the generic ones that you see like the pillar candles that you'll see so this is what they look like without the wrapping halfway round. but yeah i think i might just pop them in here and then obviously i can take them down when we want to use them i just think they're cute does it look cute there maybe i should put it this side to be fair i have got a lot of candles going on this side <laughs> there Cute. okay so then i picked up a little throw which h&m have so many of these like literally so many designs of these just kind of slouchy blankets because basically in our guest room we have quite a lot of space to the side of the bed and i want to put an armchair in there just a really cozy one it literally is just a guest room so i thought it'd be nice for guests to kind of put their clothes on or something or to sit there getting ready or whatever they want to do um but i thought it'd be nice to have a little throw Kind of draped over it so i went for this which one is so soft which i kind of wasn't expecting i thought it'd be more of a sort of coarser material but it is a really soft wool i think it is i just really like the design of it again it's the kind of like whites and the neutrals all blended together and it literally just has these white tassels at the end so i thought that would be nice because i think the armchair that we're going to go for is maybe like a cream or more towards like the brown colors that's in here because the bed that we have in there is all cream like that whole room at the moment is very white and cream so i might break it up with a couple more kind of deeper tones but yeah this will just go with everything so it doesn't really matter what material we go for i'm sure this will suit if not i'll find somewhere else in the house to put it <laughs> Oh, okay, I do remember what I got now. So these are the cushion covers that I went for. And I got these for our bed because we have been speaking about our bed a lot because we have had the same one for a little while. And we're kind of thinking like, whilst we're in a new house, whilst we're spending a bit of money on decorating anyway, we want to upgrade our bed to a super king. So we currently have a king. Um, but we're kind of thinking like in the future, like when we have kids and dogs and god knows what running around the house i quite like the idea of having a bit more space in bed um and i just think why not like we are planning on kind of building a headboard and then just having a divan i think it is for the bottom so yeah we're just going to upgrade that for a bigger size but the headboard is basically going to go all the way along the back wall and i'm thinking again i want to go for like a really light kind of stone color with that we do want to sort our bedroom out pretty soon we have kind of done half of it but we want to do the bed and i'm really keen on making that room just super calm again quite neutral because i want it to suit us for like years to come i mean we're 23 and 24 so obviously i quite like those tones anyway but i just want it to be a bedroom that we'll still love when we're like 30 or something we do have kids so yeah anyway really long story short i got these really cute cushion covers that just have pom-poms on each corner so that's why i got all of those inserts i think i might just pop one in here so you can see what it looks like these are something else to be fair that i've always been impressed with with h&m they're pillow I, th I can't remember what they're called are they called pillow inners cushion inners because these are obviously cushion covers cushion fillings i don't know whatever these are um they are really nice they're like duck feather and again i think they're like seven or eight pounds for the square ones and it's quite big like these are quite a big size it's obviously just super convenient to kind of add the cushion cover and then add the cushion from the same website okay these definitely need a little bit more reshaping but hopefully that will give you a better idea as to what these look like i think it's so cute i just got these as kind of like scatter cushions for the bed and again we've done the same kind of thing in the guest room i just think they look nice like for decor i think it just really dresses up a bedroom so yeah got these to start our little collection for our room and i love them this quality is really nice like the actual cushion cover feels lovely i'm really sorry i've just realized i'm not saying prices but none of them have them on the label so please do check the links if you want to know prices and stuff like that um every item will be in the description but yeah there's those cushions i did get another one as well of course for the other side okay so then these are the towels that i mentioned earlier oh my god i forgot how soft they are when you first get them so these are the same jacquard is that what they're called i literally can't remember <laughs> i think it's jacquard um this print <laughs> this square kind of design that i showed you guys on the other color but these i got for our bathroom because you can just never have enough towels we did get some from the white company but 
just every towel you will ever own just gets ruined by the washing machine. I think you're not meant to put softener in, which kind of sounds crazy, but that's apparently what makes them not soft anymore, which doesn't really make sense, but apparently you're not meant to do that. And then we personally don't have a tumble dryer yet, and I know that tumble dryers like fluff up towels. I'm just realizing that I'm like a proper grown up now. I'm talking about towels. <laughs> I also kind of love it. So yeah, apparently that's what you want to do. But I just thought these would be good for a little bit of a backup. Like if you're just having a quick shower and you just want to dry off, these would be really easy to use. And I got a couple of those, I think. Those ones I believe were bath towels. And then I got two of the bath sheets. So again, the massive versions, which the stone ones were also bath sheets. So they have literally every size in all of the colors. They do black ones as well, I think, which was stunning. Oh, and then I got these, which are the same design again in the white for our bathroom. And they're just little flannel versions. I thought they were really sweet. I think you get three in a pack. So yeah, cute. Oh my God. And then I'm decked out with dressing gowns, honestly. So I got this mainly for doing my makeup because a lot of the dressing gowns I do have are quite light colored. Like I have white fluffy ones. I have a gorgeous gray white company one. Um, and then I went for this because I thought it's black. The makeup's not gonna show up as much or at least it's not gonna stain on it. This will be so much easier to wash. And again, it's in the same design. So here we go. Hopefully out of the package you can see it a lot better. So this is the black version of the Jacquard design. So they have this in the towels, the flannels, like they literally have this in all of the different sizes as well, but they have it in dressing gowns. So I went for this and like I say, mainly for when I'm getting ready or if I'm doing a face mask or something, it's just going to be a lot easier to wash in terms of stains. So yeah, forgot about that. <laughs> this is going to seem really random, but I basically ordered this as a little test because I bought these plates from H&M a while ago and I absolutely love them. I always get questions on them when I put them on my Instagram. Um, but they're like side plates and I thought they were going to be big dinner plates. So I ordered this just to see if it was a bigger size. So now I've got this and I know that the length that I used is the big plates. I might order some more of these because I do love them. That is literally the only kitchen thing that I got this time around. But they do have lovely cutlery. They have so many ceramics and things like that if you are on the lookout for anything of that sort. Okay, so everything else I got is actually clothing. So I'm going to really quickly run through it just in case you're interested. Um, but if you're not, then please feel free to skip to the end. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the homeware. Um, I know it wasn't too much, but I am going to do some more of these in the future. Like I say, I'll do collective ones. And this order was made a while ago. So I'm sure there's more stuff on H&M that I would love the look of. So I'm sure I'll jump back on there at some point and like Zara home and stuff. I want to do an order from there. So yeah, look out for more homeware hauls in the future. But a couple of items of clothing. To be fair, everything I got is like loungewear for around the house, which is why I kind of wanted to add it to this order. But first thing is this oversized gray kind of I'd say more bluey toned sweater. I think I got this because it comes with matching joggers and I got it in a small, but to be fair, it actually looks quite big. So I think these come up quite oversized. Again, I'll link all of the clothing items with the homeware down below. Okay, I think that does come with matching joggers, but they'd obviously sold out because I haven't bought them. Um, so I've just got the sweater for now. But then I also got another sweater. This is more or less the same kind of vibe that I'm wearing now, like a khaki green, but this is a lot more muted. This is very me at the moment. I'm loving this colour. Um, I have a newfound love for it. So this is cute. It's basically just oversized, super baggy. So I thought to wear with like joggers or with jeans or something, this would just be really easy to pair with a load of stuff. I think I got this. I got this in an XL. And then I got this jacket, which I've seen so many people wearing these. And I think I have like one or two in my wardrobe, but the one I have is quite patterned. It's like a check design and it has a load of pinks running through it. It's from Zara actually, but I saw this and as you can imagine, I just loved the neutral tone of it. It's like a gorgeous felt material, I wanna say. I think I got this in an oversized fit. Yeah, I got this in an XL as well because I thought it'd be nice for layering. So even with like hoodies or something underneath, this is just gonna be so easy to wear as an outfit. I might even be able to get away with wearing this as a little dress like with some thigh high boots or something. Oh, and then I got a pair of pajamas. So these are actually some short sleeve ones. Again, I just thought for lounging around the house, breathable and like flowy, then these would be perfect. I think they're cotton, I wanna say. Or it's like a linen blend. So obviously they'll be perfect for summer as well, but I just saw them and I could not pick them up this time around. And then at the bottoms are these little shorts, which look so cute. And again, those feel really nice as well. These are just like an elasticated waistband. So yeah, love them. But then everything else I got is basically some little um, like crop tops or bralettes because 
I just find them the most comfortable to wear and H&M had loads that I've not tried. So I just got these ones which are like a t-shirt material but elasticated. Then I got some underwear. These are just some Brazilian thongs. I got two packs of those. And then this is the last bra that I got. So it's like a seamless one. So it's a super thin material but it's very stretchy. So it's going to be really comfortable but it also just kind of holds you in really nicely. So yeah. That is everything that I got from H&M. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and leave it a thumbs up if you do want to see more of these in the future and I'll kind of gauge it by that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching as always and I will speak to you all very soon in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>